behind us right now on the screens, you can see visuals. These are animations that have actually been put forth by ISRO itself. Remember, a few minutes ago, we continue to track the separation of the propulsion module and the lander together. Now, the landing module has been separated and what that means is that now Chandrayaan-3 is just a few days away from descending onto the surface of the moon. Next week on Wednesday is the date on which Chandrayaan-3 is supposed to descend onto the moon, the lunar surface. The South Pole, as P.K. Ghosh, who's a space strategist who remains with us, is here to tell us more about. Uh, Mr. Ghosh, if I could now come to you with a question, I'm seeing a lot of our audience members ask us. They're pointing out that, yes, you know, India is going to be the fourth country to do this after the US, China and Russia. But a lot of our audience members are asking, why the moon? Why now? When we talk about the United States, we talk about the fact that that's something they achieved in the first half of the last century. Why is the moon still so important and why is this such a huge achievement for India? See, there are uh, two or three uh, things on this. If you uh, remember, even the Apollo uh, program came to a grinding halt. Uh, the Americans were not interested. Somehow or the other, even uh, the Soviets and then the Russians, they were not very keen. The Chinese took it up uh, in some way, and they are coming up fast, of course. The reason for this is why now? Why all this sudden uh, talk of uh, going to the Mars, going to the moon, uh, and this, this sudden thrust in space? There are many reasons for this. One is, of course, we have discovered that the moon is rich in minerals. Of course, nobody can own any part of plots in the, uh, in the moon, though I understand there are companies which are trying to sell them off, but it is uh, not possible because there's a convention which is clearly stated that you can't own part of the moon. It is for all mankind. Now, that is one part of it. And the other is we can use moon as a launching platform for our interplanetary, um, uh, interplanetary journeys and interplanetary travel. Apart from that, there is an increasing uh, interest in space tourism, most of the private companies, big ones I'm talking of, in America are trying to have this, uh, uh, you know, space tourism. So it's, I would say, all these factors have come together and that is why the uh, interest has uh, sort of come again. And most of the countries, and even some of the smaller ones, and some of the bigger ones, See, even like, for example, Japan, uh, Israel, the Israelis sent Beshi. Unfortunately, it was not a, a very big success, but they are sending it again. The Japanese, I do not know if you are aware, but Chandrayaan 4, we are planning to have it in collaboration with the Japanese, JAXA. So there is a general feeling that, look, we must collaborate together for the benefit of technology and mankind and take this entire project forward. So that is why uh, everything, when everything comes together, things click and that is what is happening now. Okay. Uh, I must talk. Yeah, sorry. No, no, Mr. Ghosh, I'm going to actually come back to you. I want to ask you more about what now happens to the lander module and the propulsion module. Uh, we'll come back to you to ask you more questions in just a second. Let me very quickly, though, take our audiences through where we are right now when it comes to the lander and the propulsion modules. Now, again and again, we're telling you that the big development that's taken place when it comes to the Chandrayaan-3 story, remember, this is a story that began in July, and it's a story that today we're seeing a very important pathway stop to with the lander and the propulsion model now separating. What that means now is that both of these modules are going to embark on very different journeys. The propulsion module is, as we said, the propulsion module is going to stay in an orbit and it's going to continue collecting data. It's actually got instruments on board, a singular instrument that's going to continue collecting data. And the lander, which is separated from it, 
is now beginning what is considered the very crucial part of the journey, which is the descent process. Now, there are two more maneuverings that are going to take place when it comes to the orbit before it actually begins that final descent process onto the surface of the moon. It's going to attempt a soft landing on the moon's south side after doing a series of very complex braking maneuvers. After that, the rover, and it's, it's, it's tricky sometimes to remember these parts, so the rover will be separating from the lander module the rover's name is Pragyan. You'll hear us refer to Pragyan and Vikram. Pragyan is the name of the rover itself. It'll roll off the lander. The lander is called Vikram. And the Pragyan rover will then explore all of the nearby lunar area. It's landing on a much larger demarcated area than Chandrayaan-2 did. Remember, it's this crucial dissension phase where Chandrayaan-2 earlier failed. It's that that is going to be of crucial interest to all of us next week when that descent actually takes place. Now, what is the Pragyan rover going to do? The main goal is it's going to be gathering images to send back to Earth. It's also going to be testing substances from the lunar surface. We'll look to understand more about that in just a second. Right now, let's walk you through different reactions coming in from eminent scientists. Take a look. The space aircraft. How important is this and can you give some detail related to this? Yeah, this is, it is a really a vital, vital element because uh, now you look at your Chandrayaan 3 mission basically consists of uh, uh, 3 plus 1, 4 modules type of thing. First is LDM-3 which has taken the uh, composite of uh, Vikram lander uh, propulsion module under Pregnant, the rover uh, to the 36,000 kilometer uh, highly elliptical orbit. From there, uh, using a five uh, earthbound maneuvers, earthbound maneuvers, a propulsion module has taken the composite of Vikram lander and the Pragna to the lunar orbit. Again, the lunar orbit also from the elliptical orbit, it has now brought to the near circular, close to the moon, around 153 kilometer orbit, it has brought 153 by 163 kilometer. Uh, so now, uh, the important uh, thing is, uh, fi final thing is softly and securely landing on the moon. For that lander, as to separate from uh, the uh, propulsion module. So as of now, all the modules of propulsion system has made this functionalities and uh, it has done its job. Now Vikram has to take its own course of action. Further, it has to separate. So even after, after separating, then the major event comes. A major event is uh, uh, four uh, 800 Newton thrusters. They have to fire to take it to the lower orbit. They, that also will be done in uh, two steps and uh, ensuring that all the three systems are working properly. These two steps it will go down, go to 100 kilometer orbit, then from 100 to go to the uh, 30 kilometer orbit, 100 by 30 kilometer orbit. That's a very, very vital. But when it's going very closer, closer to the Earth, so the position of the module has to be ascertained properly. So then uh, from the 30 kilometer onwards, how to move, how to thruster to fire, 